Okay. Hey, what's going on, YouTubers? This is Zen Manga here, and I hope you're having a great day. So we are doing a, a pretty peculiar book, right? And some of you might have your assumptions on the book already by just looking at the cover and the title. But I'm going to tell you right now, you're in for a blast, and I'm looking forward to reading more of these books. So we have Ice Cream Man. So Ice Cream Man number one debuted, and it's from Image Comic Books. And let me tell you, I got this book because I saw the cover, and it looked pretty creepy, right? You see this kind of creepy kids in the background you see ice cream man who's pretty creepy so my automatic um assumption was actually a horror book right and in a way it is it's a psychological kind of like thriller horror and so we're introduced to a couple of kids who are going up to the ice cream truck right and we see this guy so i'm not going to use any names i'm just going to use a lot of bland terms so that it's easy to understand during the duration of this rundown and review so they're going up to the ice cream they're ordering their ice cream everything looks pretty cool but it still looks creepy at the same time so you're while you're reading the book you're kind of like uh, what's going on right something has to happen this ice cream man is pretty creepy right so we shift to this one kid and basically he orders his ice cream and then ice cream man <laughs> is basically like where's your parents because his parents aren't there at the time so he's saying like where's your where's your parents and he's like oh they're not here so automatically my first thought is that he's gonna do something to the kid right um or follow him or something like that so later on we go and then we get all this kind of like dialogue, right? Not from the from the kid who's kind of reciting all of this um, knowledge and this kind of like facts about um, spiders and things of that nature. So in particular, he talks about one specific spider. And the specific spider, once it bites you, it can um, basically immobilize you, put you in a state of paralysis and things of that nature. So when we go inside of that kid's house, the kid goes inside the house. And again, I automatically think that Ice Cream Man is going to pop up and do something to him. Come to find out that we see a whole, we see his, both of his parents in the living room and they are kind of on a state of paralysis, but also on a high level of decay, right? So what happened? The kid actually has a spider with him and apparently we could put two and two together and the spider actually bit those parents, right? For some reason, the spider has not bit him yet because he leads us later on to... Um, to understand that the spider doesn't like adults, but it likes kids. Now, the spider's not sentient in any way, and we don't get any kind of inclination that it is throughout the duration of the book. Skipping scene. We um, are then um, led to um, two, basically, detectives. They're doing their detective work. They're going through the day-to-day -day process, and they also allude to um, the kid that we're talking about, his parents, right? And they say that these two these two people have been missing for a long time. But here's the here's the thing. They also have the kid. So they go in to investigate, right? On the way to investigate, we switch back to the kid who is now in in the um, kind of like in a woods based like area. So again, in my head I'm like thinking, when is ice cream man gonna pop up? So as we're going along, we see this kind of um, werewolf kind of thing. So this is the weird part about it. We see this werewolf kind of thing like come out of nowhere right and is trying to go after the same kid um after a while we are then uh the detectives come around and they kind of basically i'm kind of skipping around the story but basically come to find out that ice cream man is actually the the wolf man right which is weird and then he kind of runs away a little bit later on the story has really nothing to do with ice cream man at this point and except that he's kind of like asking questions and he's in certain places now um but come to find out that the detectives end up finding out that it was the actual kid and his spider who killed off the parents. So during their time in the woods, one of the one of the, the spider that he had actually um, stung, right, or bit one of the detectives, and the one of the detectives ran after him, and that's how they found that he ran back to the house and saw everything that has happened. Now, prior to this, the detectives did. Um, go to the house and saw like the dead um the dead family members that they were decaying and also in a state of like high level of paralysis but vice versa and in in combination so as they questioned the kid he kind of ran away but they got him um and we already know from that point that um nothing was ever really said about it but we know that he was going to go into a foster family or kind of like a mental home because he didn't actually kill anyone it was actually the spider um and then towards the end of the book, we just, we, it's a weird, the ice cream man part is really weird because we see him as kind of like a werewolf based figure, kind of like a monstrous, um, brown 
hairy type of figure. And then towards the end of the book, we see him kind of like hold his hand up and then he kind of like ice cream comes out of his hand. It's like the weirdest thing, right? Um, but I like it. And I like it because I don't know what's going on, especially I understood. It kind of felt like an episode of like SVU, right? Uh, Special Victims Unit, SVU. Yeah, I said it right. Um, but I didn't really know what was going on. Like who actually did what? Who's the one who, because um, was it really the kid with the spider or was it someone who was doing something to the family member? So it was kind of like a little trippy, kind of like psychological thriller at the same time. And um, Ice Cream Man's involvement was like really slim. And also really weird how he would pop up um, and it would seem like he was the one who was doing things. But then later on, we see him as a werewolf that didn't really do anything. So I don't know what his um, intention was or like him turning into a werewolf was him trying to prowl for kids to eat them. I don't know. But I do want to read number two. It is kind of like, a, again, a psychological thriller slash horror. So it's pretty good. Um, I would encourage you to check it out. Um, Image Comic Books. It was a dollar not too bad so i'm interested for number two if i was to rate this comic book i would give it a six out of ten now that sounds very low um because the whole ice cream man part i like the lead the i like the parts that led me uh, you know actually i'm gonna switch it to a seven out of ten i do like um that i automatically assumed that he was gonna do things um to the kids but every kind of like panel i was like uh what's gonna happen what is ice cream man gonna do right and nothing really happened it had nothing to do with ice cream man um from for the most duration of the book but i like that i was in suspense throughout the book so anyway give it a seven out of ten uh for the most part check it out um or yeah support the book because i want to know how they're gonna um proceed with the book moving forward all right everyone this is zen manga saying have a great day be good to your family be good to yourself. Give me a like. Subscribe. Peace.